Okay. Uh, today we will be talking about AI ops. What is the term AI ops? We will also understand what is happening in the recent times, how the world is changing, and how the customers are moving towards their transformation journey. We will understand the basics of AI ops and few of the terms that we hear whenever we talk about AI ops. And then we will also talk about how IBM helps its customers in the AI ops journey, what are different products of IBM, how the artificial intelligence that IBM brings helps their operations in automation and how they run efficiently. So in the recent times, as we have noticed, there is a great digital shift that he's had that has already happened or that is happening. Every customer or everyone is trying to automate their IT operations. They want to automate their data centers, applications, and so on. What IBM has noticed is from the moment the pandemic has started, what was the usual time that is taken, you know, uh, takes for 10 years of digitization has happened in one year, which means that everybody is going towards modernization. They are moving their applications, data centers, everything to the public clouds. And because of this, a lot of complexity is increasing because previously, um, if you are running one application, now with this digital transformation and digitization that's going on rapidly, the number of applications the companies are hosting is increasing rapidly. And because of these increase, as you can see, 80% of the organizations estimate that, you know, they have more than 1000 applications in their portfolios, which means that the number of applications are significantly growing. And in today's world, applications are the business, which means your applications are running smoothly. Your business is running smoothly. If you have any issue with your applications, you will have you know issues with the business as well, which is nothing but your revenue, profitability and everything. And also in today's world, there is a huge skills gap that is identified. And it's been noted that you know 4.3 uh, million jobs are open. People left their jobs, they are moving towards other jobs and huge skills gap is there in present situation. Because of the modernization, what is happening is the applications are increasing, the skills are growing. Previously, if you have one skill, you, you are able to do your job. But in today's world of complexity, a person needs multiple skills. And because of these growing complexity, there is a huge gap. And there is a public uh, Aberdeen group that studies the environment and how applications are running. And what they have noted is if there is increase in the latency of application by 1%, the customer conversion decreases by 7%. And even the customer satisfaction significantly goes down by 16%. We have also seen the recent outages that have happened in Amazon, Facebook, and everywhere it's noted that uh, even Google published a survey that if their website, google.com, which everybody uses in their day-to-day -day life, is slow, slower by one second, which means that whenever you search something, the page returns are slower by one second, they noticed that the traffic on their website significantly reduced by over 30%. And even when you're shopping on amazon.com and if the response of amazon.com is slower, they notice that their sales are going down significantly. So it's very, very important in today's world to assure that there is no latency. Your applications are performing well. So what is happening now in the situation, in the current market situation is that everybody is investing so much in their application. They are rolling out new services. And what has been noted is that there has been a 47% increase in the cloud spend from everyone or all the big companies, big customers, they are spending more. And because of this, the complexity is increasing everywhere. And each outage they have, it is noted that one hour outage on an average is noted at 
noted to have more than 300k of impact so it is utmost important for the company and for the customers to ensure that they are monitoring their it environment applications and network to ensure that their applications run smoothly which means that their business is running smoothly due to the modernization there were there are several benefits everybody is getting access to the information they want faster which means that in the back the applications are running under a lot of stress they are doing many things very very quickly to give you what you're looking for and whenever there is an issue or before the issue happens itself we need to have the tools in place so that they monitor your applications your infrastructure your network storages everything very very quickly and because of this challenge that everybody is having the existing tools or the legacy tools that are in place are not sufficient and here comes ibm technology that can help you get those tools that you want to ensure your applications are running smooth not only that to prevent the issues to be able to be in a proactive space or area where and before something happens you need to know something is going to happen and you have a chance to go ahead and fix it so most of the organizations today they are turning towards ai powered automation what do we mean by ai ops and ai powered automation so ai ops is the term here which means that you are automating your it operations that is the word ai ops and how most of the companies are doing or how ibm in specific is doing is we are bringing ai powered tools that will help you in the ai ops journey so what do we focus the ibm portfolio focuses on three different areas first one is the application performance monitoring in which we are monitoring all the applications that are running in the environment that are responsible for your business we are making you know with these tools you'll be able to make faster decisions which means that something went wrong you are immediately notified or before it happens itself you are notified and you are able to act on it how do you ensure your applications are running smooth number 1 is ensuring that they have the appropriate resources which means that if i have an application that is responsible for my business and i am running it i need to ensure that it has sufficient resources in terms of cpu memory and disk so that this application runs smoothly and how do i guarantee that we need to have a application resource monitoring tool or a product that is capable of knowing when application needs some more resources that whenever there is a demand fluctuation your application is requiring more resources you should be able to provide it to your application so with ibm um, portfolio in the ai ops area we should be able to put your applications on autopilot so namely i'm going to name three applications primarily that we have that are responsible for automating the it operations and bringing artificial intelligence to the operations so first one is instana we have ibm instana it's an it's our enterprise observability platform we will also understand the terms uh, observability and what it does how it does uh, once i finish this i will brief you on all the terminology so that everybody has a clear understanding what is ai ops what is apm application performance monitoring and so on what is ibm instana is it's like a full stack enterprise observability platform which means that it monitors all the applications and ensures that they are running smoothly and we have ibm turbonomic this is a product that is responsible for resource optimization it primarily has two main features one is assuring the application performance second one is cost optimization and in today's world everybody wants to be in an area or you know reduce their carbon footprint and this tool specifically is designed to ensure that you know the carbon footprint is reduced going and most of the companies or 
are getting the investments which are in the ESG area, environmental, social, and governance. So any company that wants to reduce its footprint, this tool also helps them to achieve there. And as we know, most of the companies are targeting 2030s, 2050s to ensure that they are on zero carbon emissions by then. And this will this tool helps them a lot in the area. Uh, the third tool we have is IBM Cloud Pack for Watson AIOps. This is the final state or the desired state where everybody wants to be in, in which all your applications are running on autopilot. You have proactive resolution, which means before something happens itself, you are notified and you, you are able to determine what is the problem, how you can remediate as well here. So with IBM, you can accelerate your IT ops journey. Let's understand what are the different areas in the air ops journey. So in the first step wherein you are in a reactive zone, wherein your application, you're monitoring your application or you're monitoring the data centers, infrastructure, everything, and you are in a reactive state. When something goes wrong or when a threshold is breached, you want to be notified. So this is the first area or first level of maturity in the journey. But before we go into the details, let's try to understand the AIOps terminology here. So let's understand some common words that we hear. First thing is observability. So what is the word observability? In the AIOps world, you are monitoring an application. So which means whenever something goes wrong, you're notified. This is level one. Everybody knows what's the word monitoring. Now let's take it a step further to understand the word observability. Observability means you know, whenever you're monitoring something is wrong, you're notified. And you also know the reason now why something went wrong. So with observability, you also know the reason why something went wrong and what is the action that you need to take to fix the problem that you are having and how the observability platform knows something is wrong and it knows the reason as well is observability platforms collects telemetry data. So what is this word telemetry that we hear in the AOPS world? Telemetry means you're measuring something based on time. Tele means time, metry means measurement. So anything that you're measuring over a period of time, you're collecting. So in the AOPS world, what do we collect or what do we mean by telemetry is we collect metrics, we collect the logs and we collect the traces. So let's understand also the word trace. What is the meaning of the word trace that any observability platform collects? So what is a trace is, let's say, I have an application that is responsible for you know, running my business. Whenever a user sends a request to this application, you know, the application does something in the bag, you know, it does the billing department, it writes something in the database, and then it sends a reply back to the user who had made the initial request. So the things or the processes that happen once a user request is received and once a user request is sent back. What, has, what is happening in the middle is called a trace. And there are multiple spans in a trace. You know, application writing in a database is one span. Application doing some billing calculations is another span. So in the observability space, the key pillars are you collect metrics, logs, and traces. You collect them from all the applications that are running, be it network, storage, or any application that is running. You collect it and you consolidate all the information that you collect on this application and you will be able to present exactly the reason why something went wrong, what is the impact. In the second area of you know, maturity journey is you are able to automate the operations with the tools. You are able to optimize your applications. You are able to assure their performance as well. So in the final state wherein Everybody wants to be there. This is the desired state in the AIOps world. You are able to anticipate the incidents, which means that with AI and machine learning and analytics models, you are able to anticipate something might go wrong or based on the data that is collected from your applications, from logs, traces, and metrics, you are able to estimate that you know something might go wrong. And if there is an anomaly, we know that 
as a standard, you know, whenever application goes down, we need to go ahead and restart the application or fix the error, take one specific action. So whenever we are able to predict or how we are able to predict is we collect all the information. We know that from the history that whenever this happens, we expect two, three actions to be taken. So if an incident occurs, the operator, whoever is monitoring the products should know that, you know, they need to take uh, one specific step to fix the issue. And with the IBM uh, Cloud Pack for Watson AI Ops, you are in a desired state wherein you are able to automate the response. So whenever something happens, automatically a response is triggered and the application is brought back and it's working in the desired state. So here with IBM technology, the IT operations and bringing AI and automation to your IT operations is you know, achieved. Let's take a look at you know uh, how the IT operations can be transformed or can be achieved and how you can run an intelligent enterprise. So whatever your key objective is, let's say you want to have a differentiated customer engagement. You want to have better customer experience. You want to have a IT operations wherein you want to have them as a self-healing operations. When something goes wrong, you have your system that runs a responsive action and brings back the applications to the desired state. You want to be in the extreme automation space wherein you don't want anybody manually doing something. How this is achieved is with IBM automation and artificial intelligence area in the AI ops, there are multiple applications that help you. Let's say, for example, you want to, you want to have the technology that is capable of doing event management or incident management, wherein in your network or applications, they are sending a lot of logs and data. So you need to have a platform that can collect huge amounts of data able to run analytics and automation on the data received. And you should be able to apply the artificial intelligence or the machine learning capabilities on these data to extract the value by which your applications can run smoothly and you will be able to deliver better customer experience. So you need to have the key pillars in the AI ops uh, journey, wherein you need to have an event management system you need to have an application performance monitoring system. You also need to have application resource management wherein you know, you're optimizing and assuring the performance of your applications. You also need to collect the logs of all the applications. So if you have many applications that are running in your environment, you have a lot of network devices, all these devices, networks, or the applications, they generate huge amount of logs. You will need you need to have a platform that can ingest all the data. What do I mean by ingest is collect the data. Once the data is collected, I can run some mathematical functions or AI models, artificial intelligence models on the data so that the value is presented in the dashboard. This is the key aspect. So with IBM technology, with Turbonomic, which we talked about in the application resource management area, which improved the application performance by optimizing um, resources, CPU, memory, and disk, what happens is in a controlled environment or in an environment, we have studied that MTTR is improved by 80%. What do is MTTR mean time to resolve, which means that whenever there is an issue, the amount of time you spend, let's say, if it's a minute, your MTTR is reduced by 80%, which means that in less than 10 seconds or almost instantly, you are notified and you are able to take an action to fix it. Instana is our application that sits in the application performance monitoring area. And it is, you know, it is the cloud native tool that is born in the cloud. And with this, tool, you will be able to monitor all your applications. You will be gaining visibility completely in your environment and infrastructure. 
and with this the mttr is improved by over 50 percent mean time to resolve which means you're able to fix the issues that your applications are facing and with all the tools together with ibm cloud pack for watson AI ops we have noticed that or most of the customers improve their mtti mean time to identify the issues by 90 percent and overall the mttr is reduced by 84 percent which is very very significant improvement so in order for you to have the ability to fix first you should be able to see the problem with these tools you are able to see and visualize your complete applications infrastructure and servers you know what is happening and whenever it happens you have the right tools that guide you and tell you go ahead and run step one step two that automates the process and with this you by taking an intelligent action your mttr and mtti are significantly lowered let's take a look at our enterprise observability platform uh, which is instana it has three key pillars first one is automatic discovery which means once you plug instana in your environment it discovers all the applications that are running where they are running and it turns this data collected into a nice topological information and it adds on context what do we mean by context is all the dependent processes of the application are grouped together and also the hardware where the application is running is also identified so you have complete visibility from the customer to the data center till even the line of the code that application developer has developed and with this you will be able to take an intelligent action which means the main root cause event is identified group put together and presented to you in a dashboard which will help you significantly um, lower the mttr as we discussed and you're also able to take intelligent action what do we mean by intelligent action is you can take an appropriate responsive action to fix the problem that you're facing and let's let, let me pause here and ask a question like you know we can ask how are you know let's say whenever there is an outage or whenever something went wrong what is the first step that happens typically in an environment we bring all the responsible teams together be it from you know application or network or storage we bring together and we will sit or make them you know sit in a war room or environment wherein we will try to collaborate with each other and understand what's the problem and what happens typically in these areas is we will ask the application developer what is wrong with your application why it's not working well and he immediately goes and checks and tells no everything is fine with my application i don't see there is an issue then we all look at the networking team we see what is wrong with the network and he says no everything is fine from my side uh, there is no issue so we and this goes on like you know three four times until the last man standing in the room tells yes this is my issue i'm going ahead and fixing it so what happens is different different teams are working in their own silos you're not able to identify the problem you know immediately in one step so with better resource optimization or with thermonomic what happens is full stack supply chain is discovered what do we mean by full stack supply chain so supply chain you can consider the top level as your application that is running and the bottom level could be the physical infrastructure or the data center where this application is running so the complete visibility including all the dependencies between the storage and network everything is displayed in the supply chain so that easily whenever there is a something wrong with the application we know that exactly this application is running on this particular network this particular storage this particular data center so immediately the teams can work together and identify and fix the issue so with this application the silo teams and you know collaborations and blame games are you know ended and they have one visibility it will be a one team for one uh, operations team will have one ui wherein they can see everything and they can fix it so with cloud pack for watson ai ops you can be in the state where you are able to take proactive resolution 
without or before the issue happens, you have the visibility. You can determine what the problem is. You can take remediation actions. How do you how do you do this? Is with Cloud Pack for Watson AI apps, you have complete visibility where your application is running. What is my application topology? Dynamically, it's updated based on the changing environment. You have metric anomaly detection, which means that I am able to detect abnormalities or whenever we say anomaly, which means that something that is not normal is going on or before it happens itself, you will be able to detect it. And noise reduction, which is the primary area or which is the most important area. If you have, you are monitoring an environment of 1000 applications or 1000 servers, there is a lot of noise in the environment network or environment, which means every application sends you, I'm running fine, something is wrong, my memory is up, my CPU is this, I have log utilization, you know, there are some errors in the logs. So they keep on sending the data. If you are not able to minimize these noise, you will be lost, which means that whenever some issue happens, you will not be able to identify. So reduction of noise is most important. With Cloud Pack for Watson AI Ops, it reduces the noise, it limits all the noise in the environment and you will be able to only focus on what are the critical issues. And by focusing on critical issues, you know that you'll be looking at very limited information and that is the most important information that you need to look at and fix. And you have complete holistic incident or story viewer whenever something goes wrong. So we talked about with these tools that, you know, we are monitoring your applications, we are monitoring your infrastructure, we are monitoring your network. And this tool has visibility of complete application network, storage, and even the locks. So with this, the benefit is whenever an issue happens anywhere in the environment or be it in any team or any infrastructure, we have the complete holistic view so that issue is quickly identified and once it is identified with automation, with AI in the automation, you can take an appropriate action. Once you trigger an action, it goes, it takes the appropriate action, and then you can see whether your application is back to normal or not. With this tool, it can pretty much accept the data from almost everything, be it your continuous integration and continuous delivery platform or your tickets be it in Remedy or ServiceNow or anywhere, be it logs that your applications are writing, metrics, events, topology, even website, cost and budget, even energy consumptions, everything. So this tool collects everything. And with this, you will be able to be in the final state of AI ops wherein all your applications are in the autopilot mode and you have nothing to worry about. And this tool has capability or most of the tools that are available in the market today are, they call it, it's an AI tool or AI based tool, but these are policy based, which means that somebody or a developer has written the code saying that, you know, if something happens, you take one step, you take another step. Somebody has coded in the application programming so that these tools work. But with IBM Cloud Pack for Watson AI Ops, this tool is built on 120 patents from IBM automation, which means that it is a self-learning tool. Once you plug this tool in your network and you feed your data, there are artificial intelligence models that analyze your data that take, read all your data and come up with trained AI models that can work and help you in your operations. Not only this, this tool has a capability of natural language understanding as well, NLU and NLP. So we do have a, let's say most of the customers, most of the companies, they have a remedy or a ticketing system service now like already in place. Whenever a ticket is open, a person goes, he takes an appropriate action and he put some notes in his own language, which means that tool must be capable of understanding whatever this operator or the person who took the action has taken. So with natural language processing capability, it reads the notes from each of these tickets as well. And whenever similar incident happens in the future, 
you know what steps you need to take and it will guide you with a guided troubleshooting process like step one do this step two do this step three your application is restored or performance is restored so this is the tool that is uh, i want to rephrase that because we are in an ai summer camp ai means artificial intelligence which means the tool must be capable of learning on itself and should be able to take the action so these are the tools all together that fits in the AIOps area, which will help you run application-centric IT operations because we talked about applications are the business in today's world. With Instana, it is our enterprise observability platform wherein automatically ingests and contextualizes all the observability or telemetry data. It collects and it discovers the application dependencies in a dynamic graph. You know when each request or packet is flowing, this application detects it and it presents you on a dashboard. All the applications are flowing and with Turbonomic, you will be able to understand the full supply chain, which means you know where your application is running till the physical infrastructure level. And with Turbonomic, whenever there is a change in application demand, you ensure that your application is getting all the resources it needs. What is happening typically in today's world is, especially in the Middle East, because the purchasing power here is high. Whenever, let's say, you have an application, it needs, let's say, for example, it needs 16 gigabytes of memory to run. We always have the purchasing power. So what we are doing is we purchase more. If I need 32 gigs of memory for my application or 16 gigs, I keep, I buy 64 gigs of memory and keep it in reserve. So whenever something happens or whenever the application needs, it has more so that I am not worried about assuring the performance. But what is happening is as the applications are growing, previously you were having one application, so you purchased double the amount of resources and you are okay. But today with the modernization, you have thousands of applications running, which means you cannot purchase more and more infrastructure or the resources because there will be a huge burden on you when your applications are increasing. And even though you have more resources, they does not always guarantee the performance of the application. So you need, instead of a machine, instead of a guy making decision that, you know, uh, let's keep it 75 gigs of memory for my application. You need an AI driven machine to make these decisions for you. And that is what Turbonomic does. And with CloudPack for Watson AirOps, with proactive resolution, your software is driving continuous performance and even it maintains compliance while minimizing the cost. So with AirOps is all about taking your decisions in a much faster environment, which means you are able to take your IT decision faster. And what is the benefit that you get is your MTTR mean time to resolve is reduced by over 50%. And the biggest benefit that you get with this is you are saving a lot in terms of cost. It is noted that by 2025, there is a survey that is published in the AIOps world that says most of the customers, they will be spending huge amounts of money in infusing artificial intelligence, in automating their data centers and IT operations. So with the right tools in place from now, significant cost benefits can be achieved. So we are talking about billions of dollars that is spent on IT, which means that if you are able to save at least 30% on it, this will be huge revenue for the company. And previously, if everybody comes from like, you know, 10, 15 years ago, it was very, very normal wherein somebody can run a report and wait for one hour until the results are displayed. But in today's world, nobody even wants to wait for one minute or even five minutes you know, for the reports. Once they run a report, they need instant results, which means that the tools must be fast enough to cater to the demand of the users. And with all these tools together, 40% improvement can be achieved in rolling out new services. 
So which means that instead of having the people troubleshoot, find the issue, you can focus them on rolling new services, launching new products to the customers and in turn drive the business revenue. So these are some of the references that I have for IBM technology. IBM has helped these customers with AI in automating their IT operations completely. So that's all I have to, uh, that's all I have for today's agenda. And if somebody has any questions, please let me know. So we take a few questions before we end. All right. If there are no more questions, I would like to conclude by saying thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk in AI um, summer camp. And I hope everybody is clear with the terminology of AI ops and how IBM technology helps everybody to be in the desired state wherein all the applications are running on autopilot.